you're scrolling right now. Do you feel in control of how you're using your phone? If not, you're not alone and it's not your fault. We are being manipulated by companies who are making money by getting us to spend more time on their apps. Social media apps in particular are designed to mimic slot machines, some of the most addictive machines ever to have been invented. The way these apps suck us in is that they manipulate our brain chemistry. Tech insiders often refer to it as brain hacking, which is a little disturbing. The apps are packed with features that trigger the release of dopamine, the brain chemical that indicates when something is worth paying attention to and doing again. Bright colors are a huge trigger. Another is anticipation. You can see that on the slot machine and on our phone, you can see that with the pull to refresh features. Another design feature that makes it very difficult to stop scrolling is that there are no stopping cues in these apps, a reminder of the time you're spending. So in the context of a casino, they remove clocks, windows. That's why our feeds are infinite. You, you can, can never, never finish, finish TikTok. TikTok. You, you will never, never finish, finish Instagram. Instagram. So you can see how you can get trapped into this cycle where you're checking your phone constantly. Just to give an example, the average person is spending about four hours a day just on their phones. That adds up to about 60 full days a year. There's been a lot that's been discussed about the mental health effects of scrolling. One thing that hasn't been talked about as much is the impact that our phone time is having on our attention spans and as a result on our ability to form memories, think deeply, and to come up with creative thoughts. Attention researchers such as Gloria Mark have found that the average person's attention span has greatly atrophied. The average person and only spends about 47 seconds engaging with any screen before their attention drifts to something else. Consider this, I'm doing my best to try to speak to you in an engaging fashion, but if I put something up here, you might suddenly be able to pay more attention. Trying to reshape your relationship with your phone doesn't mean throwing it under a bus unless you want to. So the first thing I suggest you do is start to scan your phone for dopamine triggers. Your goal is to make your phone boring. So I personally decided to take all apps off of my home screen and to turn the background of my phone to black. Another suggestion I have is to try an exercise that I created. When you notice you picked up your phone, you ask yourself, what for? Did I have a purpose? Then ask yourself, why now? And in many cases, the reason will be you felt bored, you wanted a distraction. Then ask yourself the final question, what else? What else is the opportunity to give yourself an alternative? But it's entirely unfair to put all of the onus on the individual to make change here. There should be much better features built into phones and apps that allow us to use them in healthier ways. And if the companies are not willing to do that because it will disrupt their business model, then I do think governments need to step in and mandate regulations. So if you found any of this interesting, if you made it to the end of this video, first of all, thank you. But second, I want to invite you to join me in a challenge, which is to take a second to think about something that you would like to spend your time and attention on today. Identify that. And then get out of this app.